Yo, Onil. Dem dos kilaman ya sawa lagi madan. Bombat. Welcome. If you're new via here, be sure to click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so that you'll be notified about videos uploaded from this channel. The topics that we'll be discussing today, live video of another gun attack at Red Hills Road gas station, man killed as reprisal, plus Instagram influencer Giselle met in deadly accident. A policeman who was accused of RAPE was freed before the Ohm Circuit Court on Wednesday. Constable Chanel Spence was freed after his attorney Christopher Thousand urged the judge to throw out the case as the complainant has never attended court to give a testimony. Persecutors agreed and cancelled the case. Constable Spence was charged by Sissoka three years ago after an 18-year-old complainant accused of him RAPE in her at a house in St. Andrew. So my question now is, did the police officers on this case actually did an investigation and find out why this little girl did not attend court? Something about the case that just not add up whatsoever. Because why would the little girl come out, go to the police station, make a report on this matter and then she just don't turn up at court? That not really make no sense, don't it? It's either one out of two things. Either the little girl in danger or she was paid off to keep her mouth shut. So this man just literally bust off the case and a laugh. A laugh after the system and a laugh after the little girl herself. And then guess what? The police officers on the case decided that they will not do any more investigation because maybe them themselves get a little change for putting in them pocket or because of them friend. So them just drop the case in at the persecutor and, and then just roll over things and sweep it right underneath the mat and free this police officer off a whim do. Now you tell me, this is the main reason why the system will never get better. If it was a regular civilian involved in this matter, I can guarantee that the accused will not walk away scotch-free this easy. This is the easiest I have ever seen somebody bust a case. Like them literally just give up, them can't bother. So them say, alright, we're going to drop the case, you know. I will know so the policeman can pair off to you know because we really have some licky licky parents out there where as them hear money them but they go twip twip so them just tell the pitney say yeah idiot yeah get the money and just take it and you just use this and start over your life that little girl will be scarred for her entire life so the look of two pants she get if a pair she get pay off not really make no sense as me say she can also be in danger in which the policeman threaten her so she never come a court unless something will happen she just take it as that because she's scared and she feel like she don't have nobody for back her but our system just not really care about people them just drop it like that and again this policeman will go in front of the court with another case like this because once you do it and get to scotch free you gotta try it again moving right along it has been reported that instagram public figure and influencer drizzy simmons was involved in a multi vehicle accident in St. Anne's Bay earlier today. Ah, the way up in our bush up there, sir. Yes, brother. This is her thing there. This will be here. She did a drive here already. Mouth to a man drive out for him. Brother? Girl can drive though and go catch a car up there, sir. Nobody did. Reach up, so. mango tree. good. Oh, 
How did that reach up there? So as stated earlier, this accident took place in St. Anne's Bay. Earlier today, it was said that one person was hospitalized. The condition of that person is currently unknown at this time. But as you can see, the Instagram influencer carried a way up in a one part in a one bush. So we really have to give God thanks because she is not dead and she not come out with no major injuries. We're not going to say she not get no injury at all because you know say things can happen internally. And yet the people them still not take them time on the road. They still not look out for each other. They just do them own thing. Anyways, people, the videos of this incident are super long. So if you're interested in seeing them, and let me just say it's more than one. So if you're interested in seeing them, all you have to do is go down in the description of this video where you will see a link to the Chopper City Telegram group. Just click on the link. You automatically join the group and the videos will be there waiting on you. If you don't know how to go down in the description and you're interested in seeing them, just run on over to our Instagram page at Chopper City TV. That is C-H-O-P-C-I-T-Y underscore TV. Send us a message asking for the link and it will be provided to you as soon as possible. Now for the part of the video where we know say everybody interested for ear bolt. Another gun attack took place at a gas station on Reddills Road sometime yesterday. Some of you might be wondering why I say another attack. It's because a double murder took place about a week ago, maybe less at the same gas station on Reddills Road. If you haven't seen that story, you can always scroll down on our YouTube page and find it. Now people, it is said that this attack is a reprisal and Really and truly, this one is very, very touching because a little girl was caught in the midst. Luckily, nothing happened to her. It's like God did a protect she right through. We know for sure she will be traumatized because of her reaction during the incident. Now, me I'll show you a little sneak peek of what took place and then I'll know exactly where to go find the full video. This child will be traumatized for the rest of her life. I mean, I really care what nobody wants to say. Them could have waited until the girl had the day before them do what they want to do. But I'm not really care about the next generation. So they could do what they want to do either ways. Just on subscribers, the link to the entire video will be down in the description. I phone the time now still. I would love to hear your thoughts on all these stories down below in the comment section. And remember, everybody's opinion is valid. So not afraid to leave your thoughts down there. We have made it to the end of our next video. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. I'm out and stay blessed and stay safe.